so last class uh, already we had seen right uh, so how how to set up uh, ansible and all and uh, so already we we executed a few ansible ada commands ada commands is nothing but a single line commands so if you want to run any single line commands so you know right uh, so already we seen uh, what is ping uh, what is service model what is copy model what is file model how to execute file model and all mm, you know right i am model so these are the some of uh, so few models in ansible so morning someone is asking uh, so set up uh, ansible and all need to try anyone anyone facing any issues any challenges Ansible setup and all. Hello? Uh, not in students. Hmm? Morning, uh, someone asked uh, who is that? I, I know. Hello? Yes, sir. I am the answer. Are you in there? Yes. Yes. Sir. Set up ah, yes, Okay, what's the problem? You didn't restart uh, SSH. Ah, no, sir. Hmm? No, sir. I restarted, sir. I don't know the problem. My, 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 from scratch onwards, I didn't. Now it is working or not? I have created. I terminated all the instances. Now right. it's working, sir. Now it is working. Uh, okay. So, anyone, any issues? Set up and all. okay so let's uh, so move on already you know right uh, so this is let me connect my ansible uh, server click on connect so as of now we discussed all our ad hoc commands single line commands so everything we are running cli <coughs> each command we are running via cli only right so everything we are running via cli only and uh, so today we'll see and uh, how to what is a uh, playbook and all and uh, how to write ansible playbook so we'll see okay so now go to here uh, i think uh, so it is visible right or it is i changed the background color not visible sir. not visible okay now go to back black Okay, save it. Now clear, right? Black and white. Okay. So as of now, you know, right? Already we seen. Uh, so this is my Ansible. Uh, this is my Ansible controller or server. And uh, so let me sudo iPhone. Uh, directly we can check here, which is Ansible means uh, Ansible iPhone version. So if you check means uh, this is my Ansible uh, server and uh, so let go to here sudo switch uh, su sudo iphan i dot user and already here i created one user right devops switch user iphan devops this is my user okay so now if you want to connect your ho uh, host machines or nodes also we can connect so this is the manager everything i am running here on the right so as of now already we discussed already we seen a few ad hoc commands that is single line commands so everything we are executing uh, so everything we are executing via cli only so already we know right a few uh, that is ansible models and all so as of now how many we see ping model service model and a copy model file model hmm. next uh, setup model next uh, m model hmm. next uh, which models being already seen service copy yes. m. Hmm? what is this user sir uh, user model next uh, hmm. Which one? Which model? Copy. Uh, copy already added. A file added. Set yeah. up. M user. Debug. Debug. Debug not at discuss, right? Fetch app to service. Uh, service model. Uh, service already we seen, right? Service model. Restart the services and all, right? 
service model as of now we see few services now everything we are running uh, one single line command right command mode only i am executing so if you want to run any command so generally we are passing uh, this is the adoc commands already in the document already we mentioned so did you go through anyone this document so what is adoc commands uh, how it will work uh, so these are the so single line commands means uh, so kind control f what is adoc command see here ansible control mission engine master so in this mission we are triggering ansible playbooks and adoc commands so as of now you know right uh, so one one commands already we executed now this mission must be non windows or python and all so already here uh, how it will work and all we see now so there is a uh, same thing now let me create a uh, uh, I don't know, we didn't see, right? So, by default, it is finding which host mission. Someone, uh, we are mute, please. Thank you very, very much. Sravani. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, now if you see here, now if you see here, now everything, if you want to search, if you want to check whether this all host, so Ansible, all, hyphen M model, and what is the ping model, whether it is connecting or not. So, this, uh, see here. So this is the 175, this is my host IP and this is the another host IP. Both are it is connecting via my Ansible controller. Now, so now if I give Ansible iPhone M, sorry, Ansible iPhone all and uh, so I am giving uh, so iPhone M and a model name, right? Ping model. Now, so did I mention any my host file here? No, right? So what is the default Ansible installation path? What is the installation path? Where it is uh, Ansible available? Installation path. So now I didn't mention any host yeah, file. Now I didn't mention any host, right? So if you are not mentioning anything, if you are not mentioning anything, by default it is uh, pick that uh, default host file only. So default uh, host file only. So default host file is nothing but uh, that particular file name. So that is the particular uh, so file name already where that file is available and all so by default it is identifying so both are see here yeah here i am passing ansible all here i am mentioning also ansible all and if you want to mention path also iphone i iphone i nothing but inventory file so where is your file is available etc slash ansible slash uh, what is the file name what is the host file name inventory file name So, if you use principle hyphen hyphen version, so what is the file path? This is the file path, right? ETC Ansible under, we can see that configuration files and host file and all. Now, see here, cat ls slash etc slash Ansible. Now, see here, what is the default inventory file name? What is the file name here? So this is the configuration file. This is the role. This is the directory. What is the inventory file name here? Host. Now see here. Cat space. H O S T S host. Now. Cat. Uh, slash. Uh, etc. Slash. Uh, Ansible. Slash. Uh, host. Okay. Now we can see that content and all. So in this file. Already updated my IPs and all. Right. So see here. This is my IPs. Already my host IPs and all updated here. So that is the reason my Ansible server it is coming, it is accessing my host missions and all to host. It is com communicating. Now suppose if we give different name. So this is the default file name. So if anything, everything it is updated in default host file. So that case directly we can give this command. So Ansible iPhone. Uh, uh, that is ansible all or you can give uh, so iphone m model name i am giving no no no. so suppose if i create different file name now see here i am going to create different file name now how to access that file name now observe here so we can pass uh, this is the syntax if you want to specifically mention your uh, whole inventory file so that case we can give like this so that case we can give like this see here what is this this is not right so ansible iphone i where is your inventory file etc slash ansible slash host even if you are not mentioning by default ansible itself it is finding that file host file 
so by default ansible itself it is finding that host file now i am going to create different i am not giving host file i am giving a different file name how it will work now see here first let me go to that path etc slash ansible so this is the default file guys this is the default host file this is the default inventor file so if you update anything no need to mention separately suppose if i create like this sudo vi sudo vi sudo vi dev apps dev host just i give one dev host now observe here dev host insert now let me add this ip sir now let me add one ip let me for testing only right so coming to here so go to here just uh, copy any one host ip this is a private ip now i'm coming to here now i'm coming to here this is my own this is my custom this is my custom inventory file this is the custom inventory file we can give any name guys we can give any name there is no restrictions now see here ls so this is the default inventory file and just now i created dev host dev host now see here cat space dev host cat space dev host so how many host missions i added here only one host only one host now we want to check it whether this it is connecting or not i right now i am i am not going to use default host file now i want to pass my custom host file now how to pass it this is the command see here ansible all or we can give simply ip address also that is anyway all and uh, so where is your inventory file where is your inventory file i for i if we am not mentioning anything if i am not mentioning with inventory file it is picking anyone guess it now i have two inventory files host that is the default inventory file just now i created one more inventory file dev host correct now here i didn't mention any host any inventory file so by default ansible pick which inventory file my inventory file or default inventory file here i didn't mention any file name specifically now which inventory file it is reading now tell me anyone default sir default, default. so there is no default. doubt default if you are not mentioning anything default now here question is so i don't want to read i don't want to go default inventory file i want to read my own inventory file okay so how to pass it this is the command ansible all iphone i what is iphone represents inventory where is your inventory file etc slash we can pass anywhere guys that is your wish so what is your file name dev hosts host correct iphone m now i am giving now it is connect now this is the default it is connecting two host machines now in this file how many host i configure one or two just now added yes, right sir. one ip no no host uh, my in my here i added which uh, how many ips how many host i added here dev host file inventory file one, one. only one ip now it is connecting only one mission it won't connect two missions now see here now got it so default ga host anedi oka inventory file if you are not mentioning any inventory file name by default ansible itself it is reading that file okay now here uh, so our question is uh, so can you create a custom inventory file yes sir uh, if you want to we can create your own inventory file so just now i created my own inventory file so this is my own inventory file correct in this inventory file i added only one host i added only one host now i want to connect i want to read i want to uh, you know write uh, search only my i want to read my inventory file now see here how to point out your inventory file so this is the command ansible all i for i what is represents i for i i for represents the inventory so where, where where is your inventory file path where is your inventory file so same path only slash etc ansible dev apps this is my now your this command will execute it read which file only this file it is reading in this file how many host i added only one host now see here it is connected only one host clear guys anyone any doubt here clear sir 
only now it is connecting only one Sir. host because i updated only no 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 i want to add one more host also now simply vi dev host okay so i as of now added only one host file right one inventory one ip added so i want to one more i want to one more uh, now go to here so what is second one go to here and uh, coming to here now i'm click on here copy this private ip and coming to your inventory file so where is this is your inventory file just paste it that's it escape colon x okay Hmm. Insert escape colon X. Read only option set no override. I didn't give a VA. I think we need to give sudo VA, right? I forgot escape colon. I don't save it. Come outside sudo VA dev host. Okay, dev host. Okay, insert now go to here. So now just paste it. Now see here, I added one more host. Okay. Now, now I want to re I want to execute my host file. How to execute? Ansible, 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 all, hyphen i. Where is your inventory file path? Etc slash Ansible slash. So your own inventory file. Dev host, Dev host. Okay. Hyphen m just. That is your wish. Whatever you want, we can ping it. Now it is connecting how many missions? See here, it is checking. It is checking. See here, two, right? Yes or no? Okay. So like this, we can. If you want to, we can create your own inventory file, and in that inventory file, we can update it. So real time, how we are maintaining means. So actually, if you come to real time, now, so now observe here. So just assume. Uh, so this is the, this is my dev environment, or this is my application web servers, and this is my DB servers, or this is my uh, host machines, or some project specific. Just assume. Okay. So now assume this is the dev host file. Now I give one uh, dev host, right? Now just assume uh, this is the uh, web servers, application servers, app. App host file or servers, whatever you want. That that name and all we can pass it. And uh, this is my, uh, uh, for example, ABC host file. Okay, ABC under host file. Now, if all all host information and all, if I update single file, means confusion, right? So for every specific group, we are maintaining one uh, group name, one separate host file. So in this host file, only dev related. Uh, so IP and all, I am adding here. So this just assume uh, this all are the dev related IP. So 1.2, 1.3. This is the dev related IP, sir. So suppose if you want to come to here, uh, so 1.2.1, 1.1.2, uh, and uh, so 10.1.1.3. So like this we can add it. Now if you come to application servers, uh, for example, these are my application servers. Uh, so 10.1.2.2.1. Next 10. Dot, that is uh, our IP. Just assume this is your uh, IP series range only. Two data. So like this, we can add your all application related. So different different host files we are maintaining whenever if you want to. For example, I want to do some uh, DB. Uh, for example, uh, DB related. So that case we can create only DB. DB host file. Application host file. This is the one way. And the second way. Same inventory file, we are going to create multiple groups. So, for example, right now I have a one minute file. What is that default inventory file name? Host, right? This is my default inventory file. In this file, we can create multiple groups. So, how to declare group name? This is the DB server. Okay. Now I'm going the, under this the DB server. Here I'm going to add only DB related IPs and all. That's it. Okay. Now got it, guys. Anyone, any doubt here? For example, I'm going to create one more day, one more group. For example, the dev servers. Okay. Dev servers. This is a group name. Under this group name, I'm going to add only DB related IP address. Now we can easily track it, right? There is no doubt. So for example, we have one more. I am going to create one more group. 
so what is that group name i am going to create application app app application server sir so under this i am going to use uh, so i am going to use uh, so this i this series ip sir in the industry every they are maintaining some ip ip range so we need to follow same ip range but that is depends on uh, you know right organization for example i have a web server sir i am going to create one more group web servers now see here we can create like this also this is one this is other way so this is depends on our project or industry standard we are following a uh, same one range that's it clear guys anyone any doubt here now this is my file so as of now we have this is file right so this is the inventory file this is the inventory file default inventory file this is my custom inventory file now let me go to default inventory file so we sudo vi sudo vi sudo vi host if i give host so now these are the right now do i mention any group name here no right let me update here for example i am going to create one group name so my group name is just i am giving a so dev server okay srs sir okay at servers servers this is my dev servers group name under dev servers i added one one host mission for example i am going to create one more server i am going to test a server okay i am going to test a servers okay under this group i added also this mission okay this host ip so this is the one group under group i added one ip one host ip so that is the different one so in this mission also i added in this group also i added different uh, host ip now so this is like this we can create multiple groups in the uh, same file also if you want to we can create uh, so different uh, for example db server sir. see here server db server sir. under db server sir, we can use uh, now i'm using same ip a different ip let me try check it how it will work now i'm giving 21 just assume okay now i have three groups uh, dev servers test servers db servers sir. Now this is the group name. We can give any name, guys. Here we can give any name. So under this group, DB related servers IP sandal we are adding here. This is the tester servers. Tester related IP sandal we are going to add here. We can add IP address or we can add host name also. That is your wish. That is up to your name, up to you only. We can give any name. This is the DB servers. This is the tester servers. This is the dev servers. Now just I created three groups. Under each group I added some host. Now let me go to here escape colon x okay now which group you want to execute your commands now observe here now if i use like ansible ansible all hyphen m hyphen m ping command now observe here all so all means it is connecting a three it is connecting three groups so this is the dev servers this is the test servers and this is the db servers but these two uh, in these two groups uh, these ips are already reachable and uh, the ansible server are able to connect but if you come to 71 do we have any ip as of now do we have any host ip no right do we have any host ip how many hosts here as of now we have only two host missions so now i added one dummy ip address do we have that host ip no right so that is the reason here we are getting error message unreachable message see here connect to host 172.31.91.71 port so no route so unreachable true there is no host mission i hope you got it right so anyone any doubt guys here now i given all no 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 sir i don't want to execute all groups i want to call only specific group name now how to call only specific group name how to call only specific group name now see here ansible what is the group name which group you want to connect for example just assume dev servers only i want to connect dev servers iphone m and uh, what is the name now so if i run this command so now this ansible server connect all the groups or only particular group only particular only particular group 
no doubt here i mentioned specific only group name right no 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 sir i don't want to connect the, i don't want to execute my commands this here i want to connect only test servers now see here ansible test servers okay servers now just i'm checking ping command that is remaining under same story only now see here now i am going to say, uh, connect with my db servers i don't want dev i don't want test i want to connect my only db servers db db servers that's it so anyway that ip is not reachable we are getting a failure message see here unreachable now clear guys now anyone any doubt how to create groups and uh, so how, how to pass under the specific group and how to call a specific inventory file uh, while running your uh, ansible commands anyone any doubt here now real time we are maintaining two ways we can maintain if you want to we can create a separate host file or same host file we can create multiple groups under each groups we can update your uh, node information that is node uh, host names or node ips clear Yes or no? Hello? What's Ravani? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, in this case, uh, so real time we can, uh, we can follow two ways, guys. That is up to you only. If you want to, we can create uh, multiple groups in same host file. Or really, if you need, we can create uh, so, uh, your custom uh, you know, right, inventory file and give one name under that uh, so host file we can update your ip sir but both are same purpose only now got it both are same only but every time we need to give this uh, name so how we are passing means uh, here we need to mention if you have custom ansible ansible uh, next uh, group name or directly we can give whatever group name or we can all and we need to give iphone i iphone i inventory file so where is your inventory file so that path we need to mention not only it is we can keep somewhere also that is up to you only it is slash anyway i am mentioning here so that is a dev host right so we need to mention remaining same story model name so we can use service model we can use whatever we want that is up to you only clear this is the model name that's it so this is if you want to pass your custom inventory file so that case iphone i you need to use iphone i is nothing but inventory file so this is where is your file available so my file available under etc under ansible under devops devops host is my my own this is my custom this is my own uh, host file so in this file we can i updated already my my host information and all now this ansible server read only this particular file now it won't read default file so default file name is host this is inventory file so if you give any name that name you need to call here that is the story i hope clear right now as of now you know so how to execute all commands and all so how to execute all commands and all now we'll see so what is playbook and how to work with playbook so now playbook is nothing but uh, you know right uh, multiple commands now i want to execute more than one commands guys so as of now i executed how many commands in command line cli mode i execute only one command or at a time i can execute multiple commands now this is the this is just now i executed this command this is only one command or multiple commands one command only one command no 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 sir i want to execute uh, ping command and also i want to execute copy model i want to execute file model i want to execute service model now you know right some models sir. suppose if you want to execute more than one model at a time so that case you should go for a playbook in ansible it is providing one feature playbook feature playbook is nothing but we can execute we can write multiple uh, commands we can execute multiple commands at a time we can execute multiple commands at a time so now first we will see what is playbook how it will work what is the structure and all now see here playbook now if you come to here so now if you come to here so 
now if you come to here main components playbook already we know right now if you observe here so what is playbook under and uh, so how it will work now see here what is playbook playbooks are simple code files which describe the task that need to be executed so playbook is nothing but this is one simple file guys what type of file this is a yml file what type of file so this is the yml file so this is the yml file we can write in uh, in kubernetes we are writing yml file right so how we are writing yml file so playbook Now see here, this is Ansible uh, ad hoc commands or uh, we can use a uh, playbook also. Play ad hoc commands is nothing but this is the single line commands and if you want to execute more than one command and that case we go for uh, so Ansible playbook. Ansible playbook. Somewhere we can see Ansible playbook. So Ansible playbook. Now see here ansible playbook so ansible playbook is a yml file that is same like in kubernetes how we are writing yml file the extension should be dot yml file that's it for example you are given test dot yml so yml or we can use yml so this is a very simple file only and already in kubernetes you know right sar also explained what is yml file and this is like one type of scripting language so this is also one type of scripting language and we can easily understand and here everything we can pass you know right uh, like a tag format so that and all we can pass see here ansible playbook is a yml format what is yml and all already you know in kubernetes already we are executing some pod we created uh, some replica set we created uh, some deployment object we created right same way here also i am going to create one yml form but the syntax find all that's it will change some little uh, difference that will check uh, which is a set of a uh, place uh, a play is a specific task uh, so it is used to user bin ansible playbook uh, so this is the default path guys uh, all your playbooks and all under the where we are user bin ansible playbook uh, if you want to we can check here also see here ansible cd slash user usr user usr slash uh, what is the path here bin what is the path here bin slash ansible slash ansible now see here so here also we can see ansible and see so now find it here yeah right so go top so now we can see somewhere ansible playbook there is one file name is there now see here ansible playbook ansible playbook so now cat space cat not cd cat space ansible ansible hyphen ansible hyphen playbook okay now see here so this is a playbook uh, default file and uh, this is a path guys don't change anything and if you want to know more about just open uh, just a cat use cat command now see here this file is part of the ansible ansible is a free software you can uh, see here redistribute it and uh, modify the under this file ansible is a distributed hope and what is the python arguments and okay and what are these are already they implemented so don't change anything and all so this is the default uh, file this is the default file and uh, they written everything in our uh, so python format related and all and uh, so this is the default this is the path actually if you want to we can uh, know it see here so this uh, it is uses the, it uses it uses the user bin ansible commands to execute your playbook so how your ansible playbook commands will execute uh, with the help of this file only your ansible commands and all your ansible playbook commands and all executing so ansible playbooks are way to send commands to remote computer you know right uh, so we are a ansible server and we have a ansible uh, worker nodes uh, that is nothing but uh, uh, host machines uh. so now ansible command we are executing server and that command executing only host machines uh. now see here ansible command individually 
to remote configure computer from the command line. You can com configure entire complex environment also if you want. Ansible playbook are written in the YML format, data serialization format. If you don't know what is data serialization and all, just you go for you know write a list and arrays. So that is you know right. We are following some objects. List object, array object. Uh, you know right list object array object under dictionary what is dictionary key and value format actually here we are following each and everything uh, key and value format now this is the structure guys actually so this is the structure if you want to write if you see any playbook uh, see this is a playbook structure so we can add many plays uh, see here this is a playbook under the playbook we can see play under the play we can add multiple tasks uh, so this is a model task is nothing but one model uh, so which environment what type of task you want to execute so that and all we can we can add under the playbook under the playbook now if you come to playbook so these are the four type of sessions if you want to write any playbook so these are the types guys so i want to write one simple playbook so if you want to write any Kubernetes object, right? We are using API version. We are using API version kind of metadata, right? And the same way, if you want to write any playbook in Ansible, so there is total four sections available. So this is the first one is the target section. First one is the target section. This is the target uh, section. And the second one is the variable section. Variable. This is the variable section variable section and the third one is a task section and fourth one is a you know right a handler section now see here handler okay so this is the if you want to write so first we need to know so how many sections available in playbook four sections one is target section and variable section and task section and the handler sections now we will see what is target section and what is variable section so target section is nothing but in this section we can define host against which playbook you want to execute now as of now now as of now how many uh, as of now how many see here if you go here as of now how many inventory files guys it is slash it is slash and uh, ansible if you go here ls so now I have a just assume this is my host file. This is my host file, right? So this is my host file. So in this host file, so how many groups I created here? How many groups I created here? There is multiple groups I created. Now see here, I created multiple groups, right? Where is that file? Mm, clear the screen. Clear the screen. Cat space or host. Cat space host. So now see here. How many groups I created here? These are my groups. What is the group name? Dev servers, test servers, DB servers, and all I created. Now, first section is the target section. Target section means so in this section we have to define host and group name. Which section you want to execute? Now in this target section, so here I have DB group name is there and uh, dev servers group name is there app server group name is there web servers so which group you want to execute so that name you want to make that name we are going to update uh, in the target section so in target section mostly we are calling your group name or your file name your inventory file name that's it so that is nothing but your target section okay you know our target what is variable section variable is nothing but uh, we can define your variables sir. we can define your variables sir. so there is a different uh, types of variables available there is local variables uh, there is system variables uh, there is uh, different different variables available we'll see later first try to understand so what is variables sir? so variable is nothing but uh, if you want to declare any variable we can declare under the variable section and the task section this is the mandatory this is the mandatory so task section means uh, we can list of all models uh, which model you want to execute so that model and all we are going to write under the task section for example now uh, i have a one task right so this is my task name for example i want to install uh, git software or i want to copy some file you know right uh, so if you want to copy copy is the model correct already you know copy as the model but where you want to add this copy model under the task section now see here so iphone name iphone name here i am giving a so for example install for example git package now git package 
so this is the name so where we are asking this is the task this is the main task t a s k s task under the task this is the task name under the task name we are going to execute your actual task and all now see here now i am going to use which model m model now name equal to i given a name equal to git software and state equal to state colon present so same command how we are executing in single ada commands single line commands so this is a command right so ansible call iphan m model name m and iphan a and we are giving a name equal to git correct same command and state equal to what is state present that's it this is the this is the which command ada commands single line command now same thing if you want to write in playbook playbook is nothing but uh, if you want to execute more than one ansible model so that case we should go for uh, ansible playbook that's it so we can execute more than one model so as of now you know how how to execute one one model in command line no 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 sir i want to execute multiple models at a time so how to execute multiple models how to run uh, multiple models at a time so that case we should go for we would go for ansible playbook what is playbook playbook is nothing but this is the one sample file yml file and here we can we can add multiple task so actually every playbook has four sections one is target section and the second one is task section that is variable section and the task section and the handler section so under target section which target group which host which host which inventory file we want to read or we want to execute okay so that name and all we are we have uh, that name and all we are going to update task section sorry target section and variable section if you want to declare any variables we will see later variable is nothing but you know right uh, so for example a variable i want to environment or name equal to i want to given some name or some environment or name or some variables so that and all we are going to declare under the variable section and the task section this is a very very important so without task section we cannot execute your playbook okay now task section so under the task section we can add your models which model you want to execute now if you want to add one more model copy model now i can see here i can add like this under the task section iphone name iphone name copy file so under this here we can cast so what is the model name copy model and uh, so under this copy and uh, so what is the name destination right copy src so value server and destination right same like this we can add it okay this is the like this so same thing we can highlight here also this is the task section in this section we can list off all models that we need to run in order order means same order top to bottom first in first out that's it so for example i have i written one playbook in my playbook i have a 10 models i added 10 models so if i run my playbook all models executing only top to bottom only it is executing top to bottom not bottom to top okay so that is the behavior now handler section so this is leave it we'll say handler is nothing but you know right i have a tomcat server or i have any web server http server nginx server i modified some files so based so generally uh, tomcat server if you modified any tomcat configuration files what you need to do we need to restart the server right we need to restart the server otherwise it won't work right otherwise it won't work so that case uh, there is a one concept here is there handler in interval also many people asking what is ansible handler ansible handler is nothing but uh, if any modification happening in our server configuration files i want to restart my server automatically so that case that case uh, we would go for uh, so ansible handler anyway practically we will see later just remember orally so now there is four sections right target section variable section task section handler section so in this four section so for example if you want to write or if you want to execute any playbook only two sections is mandatory remaining two are two are optional so which is the optional so variable section is optional if you want to we can add it 
or if you if you don't want we can leave it this is also optional that is based on your requirement option and uh, so this is also optional handler also optional okay so remaining uh, so target section task section is mandatory so now go enter with the ask one or two people they asked without task section can i execute can i run my playbook no without task so can i run my playbook what is the answer yes or no task no sir now you know no. right uh, this is the ad hoc commands right so now if you see here so this is my uh, this is my file now this is my just uh, for example i didn't mention any module name now i didn't mention any module name now see here what it is saying no argument passed to command module now this is a command you know up to here you know ansible okay i given my group name and all it is reading a group name and i didn't mention any module any module how this ansible run see here no argument passed to a command module we didn't pass any module now got it guys same way in playbook also without without task section we cannot execute your playbook we cannot execute your playbook okay so now these are the four models what are those models Ta uh, see uh, sorry in uh, playbook section four sections right target section variable section task section handler section now we know what is target section we are going to give your you know right inventory file or your group name and all and variable section we can declare your variables and all and the task section whatever task which our model you want to execute that model and all we are calling here and the handler section if you modified any configuration files any server related configuration files so automatically i want to restart my server otherwise it won't work it won't reflect immediately so that case uh, so we should go for handler section now clear guys anyone any doubt here hello so now you know right what is playbook playbook is nothing but this is the yml file this is one yml file and uh, so playbook is nothing but if you want to execute if you want to run if you want to execute more than one what models are ansible model so that case we should go for ansible playbook now like this we can add many playbooks many you know right uh, so many models so this is my playbook under playbook we can task see here this is one task this is one task this is one task another task we can add multiple models so this is the target environment this is also one target environment we can give some naming convention also we can give some naming convention also that is based on your requirement we can add it okay so these are now how many sections available in playbook four sections target section variable section task section handler section now with the help of uh, so two is mandatory and uh, remaining two is optional which is the mandatory target section is mandatory and the task section is mandatory so remaining variable section and the handler section that is optional if you want to we can add it if you don't want really we can uh, no need to add anything variable section no need to add any in a handler section clear guys so anyone any doubt as of now What Ramesh? Clear? Hello? Yes, yes sir. Now, come to here. Uh, so, how to write a uh, playbook? So, how to write a playbook? Okay. So, now this is my Ansible server. Now, as of now, you know, write, uh, for example, simply uh, you know right uh, you, you can install package or we can copy we can we can create file and all so now uh, so everything already basic uh, so playbooks and all added in the document just uh, so already i hope i sent this document to everyone just uh, go through this document and if you have any doubt and all so mostly these steps and all we are executing now this already you know what is this uh, so command model so as of now we didn't discuss right command model this is also one model guys command model so what is this command model let me iterate uh, we didn't see right so now what is command model 
if you want to execute any Linux command, so we can go for command model. We can go for command model. Now see here pwd. I am in uh, here or uh, exit or uh, uh, su space iphone devops. This is my username. Now pwd. Now I am in uh, default path. Okay. Now command model. Now see here ansible. Uh, now I want to execute my. I want to call my own. Okay. So all iphone i and uh, so etc slash ansible slash so which inventor file i want to call my name dev host okay iphone m and uh, so command iphone m command command also one model guys iphone a and uh, so ls iphone a what is ls iphone a guys what is ls iphone a List of all. Ah, list of all. So which host file it is calling? Dev host file. Dev host file. This is my inventor file. So in this inventor file, I added only one host mission. Now see here, in this mission, it is displaying all my files. So here added two hosts, right? So see here, this is the 175, this is the one host IP and uh, one, uh, 70 also one host IP. Now we can see, so it is displaying all including hidden files also clear including hidden files also now got it so for example i want to check memory usage what is the command guys linux command memory usage so what is this memory usage how we are checking any command so you know right all linux commands already you know so let me try here so you know right memory usage so what is this memory purpose we are using? What arguments I need to pass here? A or M? Linux command. Already we discussed this one. A or M? Which argument? M, sir. M. Now see here. So this is my one host mission. This is my one host, right? So this host mission total 952 and user 79 and free 6, uh, 676. Now if you come to this is another host. Now see here total 1 GB only and used it is 90 and remain 80 and remaining. So now we can check. So like this the command also one model guys. So Ansible also it is providing a model name command model. So with the help of command model we can execute all your Linux command Ansible ansible command okay so now here also we can pass uh, this is the model name this is the model name and uh, now if we come to here so now see here we can pass many parameters uh, arguments uh, if you want to we can create change directory and uh, change cmd command command line uh, and if you want to remove and std so there is many arguments uh, so check mode uh, diff mode pattern so this many ways we can pass it so this is also one model command also one model you know right file also one model copy also one model service also one model ping also one model setup also one model so these are the also default uh, so you know right mostly frequently used models and all. okay now so here uh, how to write playbook here our scenario is already you know how to execute a command mod that is ada commands and all and uh, so now i want to write one playbook so if you want to write one playbook first you need to create the one yml file yml file so how to create yml file so how to create yml file in uh, kubernetes also we are creating yml file right so how to create yml file so sudo vi i am giving a uh, so test dot yml file okay test dot yml file or we can use yml also both are same guys we can use yml or we can use yml okay so now file now so this is my yml file this is my playbook actually so in this playbook total how many sections four sections target section and variable section next task section and handler section now so how to write a playbook and how to write yml file so starts with uh, we are passing some right in uh, kubernet we are passing uh, so how to starts with my yml file anyone target we are giving uh, so there is, we are giving some iphone 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 right what is iphone iphone 
already we know right so this and all already available here also just how we can see it is identifying automatically your ansible server is uh, see here basic steps to write your playbook first step one starts with uh, three hyphen what is this three hyphen which represents uh, that file is a yml file or yml file it is giving information to your ansible now ansible easily identify oh this is our yml file this is our yml file now got it guys and ends with we are giving a sum what is that end so just assume starts with we are giving a, so iphone 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 3 ends with dot 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 okay now if we come to here now we have a four sections we have a four sections so what are those sections target section variable section task section handler sections so under this four so two are mandatory what are those sections Target section. target section and task section so now how to write also target section now see here it is started with here and if you want to write any playbook now see here here we are giving also iphone name we can give any name guys so now i am going to give iphone name okay colon so now i want to install a git package i want to install git software whatever that is your name so install git package just we can pass any name now host there is one section is there host so under this host host represents your host what is the host which target which host file you want to read whether you want to read default file or whether you want to read anyway here i am going to use a default file right i am going to give my group name which group you want to connect dev group test group or db group just i am giving uh, so dev servers now got it guys dev servers what is this this is my group name this is my group name so host not host host s missing okay this is a syntax host now so this is the target section guys this is the target section now become equal to s we are giving right uh, so become equal to now variables and all identity updating here simply i am writing one playbook that's it now i don't want anything now so now i am going to use the task section task right now i am giving here iphone name first task right t a s k s task okay now iphone name okay i iphone space name okay so just i given something now what is the model name what is the model name uh, for installing the git software what is the model name you used what is the model name guys first tell me other commands here we write we updated right ansible all iphon m next name equal to git state equal to i given something right yes or no same command if you want to write if you want to execute via playbook so these are the steps we need to write see here now model name m and what is the name name equal to what is the package name git and state state equal to what is the state name remove or you want to install hmm. if you want to remove if you want to install so for installation what is the parameter we need to pass what is the parameter install much better suppose if you want to install anything uh, install present right present or installed we can use anything right suppose we don't know anything just to go to here go to ansible m model ansible m model under the m model go to your parameters so if you go here so here go to law end so here we are passing something right state state equal see here present installed or latest we can use anything present we can use or installed we can use or latest also anyway i am using present that's it so anything missing that's it guys this is state your state of is, stage sir which one state on stage 
sorry state right not state the state s t a t state right state so if you don't know just what is this state parameter is state not stage state okay state equal to present now so see here already here i written just to follow first time if you want to we can follow same thing or next slowly we can write it now here i written something and all create file and all i written and a file destination model and all and also i copied and all now how to run your playbook how to run your playbook so if you want to run playbook this is the syntax guys every playbook starts with ansible life and playbook now that's it guys escape colon x now how to run your playbook is ready cat space test i test dot yml your playbook is ready now how to run this playbook if you want to run this playbook this is the syntax ansible iphone playbook so if you want to run every ad hoc command you are using ansible right starts with ansible same way same way if you want to run playbook so every playbook starts with playbook ansible iphone playbook okay space now this is a syntax your playbook name your playbook name so what is your playbook name here my playbook name test right test dot yml test dot yml suppose if you want to check syntax and all we can use iphone iphone check or we can use see here iphone iphone syntax check now i am using iphone iphone s y n syntax iphone check i want to check whether so my playbook is see here could not found test not found ls right t y a m l not y m l so i given file name is y a m l right so that is the reason uh, it is a y a m l the extension i given y a m l now see here so iphone iphone syntax check your playbook now i am not getting any error what is this meaning what is this meaning so there is no errors in my playbook there is no errors in my playbook now if you want to run dry run if you want to run use dry run also dry run means uh, which are the steps it is going to execute so that case we can use one more command also so iphone iphone check this is nothing but dry run but no output only dry run dry run means a trail and error correct same ansible iphone playbook and a space a file name test dot yaml space iphone iphone check now i am using dry run now see here what are the steps how it is going to execute now see here see play it is installing the package and also gathering facts and it is connected to that particular mission and two host missions and okay is to change it zero unreachable zero failed zero now this is not actually this is not installing anything just i try run what is going to happening okay trail and you know right trail means uh, just we are running so what are the steps it is going to execute now if you want to really execute so this is a command ansible iphone playbook this is a common guys this is a syntax if you want to execute if you want to run any playbook so it will starts with ansible iphone playbook your playbook name test dot y a m l that's it i don't want to check any syntax i don't want to any dry run now see here okay to change is nothing now see here green green so what is the behavior of uh, ansible you know right if already git software is available again it won't reinstall it is verifying okay item item important right so it is not installing again okay now see here change equal to zero only so okay is it is tested whether that is available yes already is available so that is the reason last class i installed right so that is the reason again it is not installing anything so this is a very simple playbook and same thing if you want to run other command this is a command both are same guys both are same only so if you want to use a if you want to run via sorry control z that is eraser this is eraser right so if you want to run same i don't want to playbook if you want to run other commands so this is a command ansible hmm all next iphone m m m model iphone a and uh, so we are using uh, so that name and state that's it now see here single quotation name equal to gate 
and state equal to present that's it so this is the single line command if you want to write same thing in via playbook so these many steps we need to write so these many steps we need to write but this is very simple only but this is very simple only now clear here so this is your target section this is your target section which group i connected dev servers which group i connected dev servers okay now this is the task section so what is my module name m model so in the same task we can add multiple models i want to add m model or copy model or file model or service model whatever you want we can add all those models under the task section now clear guys anyone any doubt here so anyway next class i will show you a few more examples now we can easily understand so now we know right how to write playbook and all so if simply if anyone is asking what is playbook now anyone tell me what is playbook playbook is nothing but uh, if you want to execute more than one module so that case we should go for playbook so in the playbook we have four sections right target section variable section task section handler section so in this playbook how many sections i added here anyone this is my playbook right two sir only two two uh, two sections sir. what are those task section and task section this is the target section. this is the target next uh, task section that's it task okay? section task only target and task section okay so suppose if you want to, i don't want this one or if you want to db suppose i want to application test server sir so that case we can use uh, just update that group name that's it guys update that group name that's it very simple vi sudo vi sudo vi now i don't want sir db group i want to execute my playbook so execute my task and all test server sir just test insert right test server sir. test server that's it very simple very simple right so no need to change everything just we are updating the only target section that's it clear guys i hope now you got it right what is playbook and why you go for playbook okay so simply i don't want to execute ad hoc commands one by one commands i want to execute multiple uh, models at a time so that case uh, so uh, we should go for uh, so ansible playbook so these are the sections and the next class we'll see continuation and all how it will work so that's it from my side so anyone any doubt guys as of now